We begin with the battle lines being drawn between husband and wife. Congressman Duncan Hunter is distancing himself from his wife's case as she takes a plea deal and agrees to testify against him in their corruption trial. Good afternoon. I'm Kimberly Hunt. 10 News reporter John Horn is joining us now live from the courthouse downtown where she pleaded guilty today. And John, the congressman says it's all politics. Now, Congressman Duncan Hunter said he didn't have the full details of his wife's case, but he said prosecutors were just using her to get to him. He also repeated his longtime message that these charges were politically motivated and he aimed to discredit the prosecutors. But watching his wife plead guilty in that courthouse painted a very different picture of the reality that's to come. I have fully accepted responsibility for my conduct. I am deeply remorseful and I apologize. Speaking through her attorney, Margaret Hunter says she's sorry for spending tens of thousands of dollars in campaign contributions on lavish vacations, dinners, and basic expenses. She pleaded guilty Thursday to conspiring with her husband, Congressman Duncan Hunter, for years to cover them up. I understand that there will be more consequences stemming from my actions, but as demonstrated this morning with the entry of the plea, I've taken the first step to face those consequences. The deal with prosecutors means Margaret Hunter only pleads guilty to one of the 60 counts. The others go away, but she also agreed to testify against her husband. Congressman Duncan Hunter is facing the same 60 counts of misusing more than $200,000 in those funds, including a $10,000 family vacation to Italy and a $650 Easter brunch at the Hotel Del Coronado. The Republican congressman is set for trial in September, six months before the California primary. It's not looking good. Political analyst John Dadian says Margaret's plea deal is a game changer. Hunter narrowly won re-election last year while under indictment, but Dadian says Republican challengers are preparing to file if they see an opening. Now, I think it'd be devastating if she's very blunt and blatantly says, yes, he knew everything. A conviction would not force Hunter out of office. It takes two-thirds in the House to expel him, meaning 55 Republicans would have to go along. Now, Dadian added he does believe Hunter would be expelled if convicted. And remember, there is always that chance of a presidential pardon. Now, Margaret Hunter faces up to five years in prison and a $250,000 fine. She's scheduled to be sentenced at 9 a.m. September 16th. That is six days after Congressman Hunter's trial begins. Live in downtown, John Horn, 10 News. John, thank you.